Hello everybody, this is Mr. Bobby's Models here and welcome to my official Briarfest 2020 haul video. I have always wanted to film one of these videos where you put the models out on the bed and you show them one by one to everybody. I'm so excited, thank you for being here today. Briarfest 2020 was my first Briarfest, so this is the first time I've ever been able to do like a proper haul video and I'm so excited about it. So yes, let's just get right into it. All right, so of course the very first thing that I am going to show you are my celebration models. These are my Ballynoe Castle RMs or Reggie's as he is known. These guys are absolutely stunning. So because I have two three-day tickets, or I did have two three-day tickets, uh, I have one in box and I have one out of box. And then also here are some magnets that I got um, with my special runs that I thought I would throw in now. They're fairly simple, they just say Celtic Fling, but they're really cool. And my glass cabinet that I'm filming on has uh, a magnetic portion on it, so that's really cool. This guy is honestly one of my favourite models from the entire event. He's so shiny, so stunning, his shading is amazing, and I love him and I love eventing. I event my real horse in real life, so it's very cool that they picked an eventer for this year's celebration model. Yeah, I'm just really happy with him overall. And I'm glad that I got two so I can keep one in the box. Oh, he's just so shiny and beautiful. I love him. And here are the magnets very quickly on my glass cabinet. All right, so moving on to my Friday purchases. So I got in my very first checkout, Mackenzie, the little plush. Such a cute plush. I absolutely love Mackenzie. So cute. So beautiful. So fluffy. And mine is number 32 of 1000. So mine's a really low... Whoop! I dropped him! Mine's a really low run, which is kind of exciting. And he won't sit down. There we go. So yeah, I'm very happy with Mackenzie. But yeah, here's Mackenzie. And I'm very happy to have bought Mackenzie because uh, Mackenzie is one of the things that I actually really really wanted from the uh, Celtic Fling shop this year. Also on Saturday I did purchase Yuletide greetings. Friday, I meant Friday <laughs> and originally he didn't come with my Briarfest model so I'm actually filming this clip a few weeks after the other clips that you've seen and will continue to see um, but he's here now and I I'm obsessed with him. I'm so happy I picked him up on Friday because he actually sold out over the weekend. He is absolutely stunning. And I actually really like his costume, which is rare for me. Normally, I do not like the Briar Christmas costumes. But this one is so cool. He has the cutest face. I love his colouring too. This is the other side. He says happy holidays. Honestly, if you get the chance to buy this guy, I 1000% recommend it. He is so stunning, so cute. I'm obsessed with his face. I love this mold so much. And he does have a happy holidays 2020 on his belly. His coloring is stunning underneath the rug. Uh, but I'm going to keep the rug on because I actually really, really love his costume. And then on my second checkout of Friday, I managed to purchase a Benelli. I'm so, so pleased that I managed to purchase this guy. If you guys didn't attend Briarfest and you don't know, it was really difficult to get the store specials this year. Like, really difficult. So I am just super pleased. I managed to get my favourite store special. He's the only one that I really, really wanted. I just love him. He is amazing. I love his markings. He's the braided version of the Shannondale mould. So he has little purple ribbons. He's so cool and lovely. And if you ever get the chance to purchase this guy, if you didn't attend Briarfest, I highly recommend it because he's so stunning. Just look at his face, he's so cute. Got soft little eyes, cute markings on his nose. Yeah, he's worth picking up if you don't already have one. 
So on Saturday, I didn't actually really make that many purchases. I decided it was going to kind of be a non-shopping day just so I could fully enjoy the other features of Briarfest that were on the website and on social media, especially Instagram and YouTube. But I did pick up two pins. I bought these pins with my $10 voucher for the fling shop. They're very cute. They're quite small but I really like them. I like the gold on them. So there's those. They are just a nice little keepsake. And last but not least for Saturday, I did pre-order a glossy Benelli. Again, if you didn't attend Briarfest or you just don't know, Briar decided to release a pre-order for glossy versions of the store specials because they were really, really difficult to get on Friday. So the glossy pre-orders were available on Saturday and Sunday and I decided I just wanted to get my pre-order straight in so I did it on Saturday morning. The glossy models aren't shipping until December, Briar have said, so I won't be getting him for a while but I'm very, very excited for when he does arrive. I was really appreciative that Briar released glossy versions of the store specials for those people who were really struggling to get the matte versions in the Briar store. So thank you, Briar, for that. That was very considerate of you. Moving on to my special runs now. So just in case you didn't know, a little bit before Briar Fest, you had to submit a preference list to Briar. Well, you didn't have to, but you could about which special runs you like, dislike, and your order of preference, so that Briar could try to pick the best special runs for you prior to the event. And then two of them would appear on the website at your special run time, and you had the option to purchase them or not purchase them. Both of my special run times were on Sunday. One was at 9am, one was at 12pm. And on my very first special run time, I got my first choice on my preference list, which I was very excited about. And that is Breed and Beltane, The Mare and Foal. Now, I have done so much research about how to pronounce the mare's name. And every source I've seen has said something different. Um, because if you didn't know, there are different variations of Irish. I have been taught generally that in Irish, the GH is silent. So it would sound a bit like breed as in like horse breed. Um, obviously I don't have an accent, so I can't say it very convincingly, but anyway, but that's beside the point. <laughs> so here is the baby. I love the baby. Very cute. I've never seen the smalled in person before today, which is the day I'm receiving them. He has a horrible paint drip under his eye. Looks like he's cried in mascara. <laughs> but other than that, he's really cute. I love this guy. Very adorable and looks more realistic in person. I find that in pictures and on camera, he doesn't look like he just looks a bit fake. But when you actually see him stood up on a display shelf, he looks absolutely stunning. And he's so cute. And then we have the mare and she is stunning and adorable. <laughs> I love her face so much. This mold actually reminds me of some horses that I know in real life. Um, if you didn't know, this mold is based off Welsh ponies, but it also does remind me of Connemara ponies, the more native stocky type of Connemara, not so much the athletic type of Connemara. But um, yeah, it, it's so stunning and I've always wanted one in this mold ever since it was announced and she's so cute and she's in really good condition, which I'm really, really pleased about. Yeah, just really, really cute overall. I like her markings and uh, yes, and if you didn't know, all of the models have Bright 2020 on their belly in a very nice font this year. The second special run that I got selected for was the surprise model for my first special run time, which was second on my preference list. So I got my top two in my first special run time, which I was very impressed with. And I got the matte Roan Pinto. This was one of the very first variations that was seen that people received um, after the Briarfest weekend. 
a lot of these came out at first. I don't know if that's just like a ginormous coincidence. It has since been revealed that all four variations of the surprise models have equal quantities. So there are 800 of every mat. And I think it's either 325 or 375 of the glossies. So there's a fair few glossies this year. I love this mare way more than I thought I would. I'm, I mean, I love the Giselle mold. And she was actually one of my guesses. I'm very proud about that. I actually guessed the surprise mold this year. Um, and I loved all of them in pictures, but in, in person, there's just something so much more stunning about this girl. Photos and videos honestly do not do this model enough justice. Like, look how cute she is. She's so sweet. Yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy with this variation. I took you off the tripod so you could see her slightly better. I feel like the lighting was working against me there. She's so cute. Love her. And there's her stamp and she has gorgeous pinking. Very nice details. Brown eyes, cute nose. Love her. When I checked out my first two special runs, I did also purchase this 70th anniversary journal notebook thing. Uh, it's larger than I thought it was going to be, which is nice. I thought it was going to be tiny. And it is so colourful and so fun. I've not actually opened it yet, but it looks like it's going to be a really, really nice notebook. For my second special run time, I was selected to buy Le or Lou. Again, there is some difference in pronunciations I've heard. Briar were really nice to me because he was third on my preference list, so top three so far. He is one of the most underrated special run models this year. I really, really like this guy. I just like the tail. I think it's the tail and the gloss that really sell this guy. I think if he had just a black tail and was matte, he would be so boring. I would be really unimpressed by him, but I absolutely adore him. He has lovely brown eyes and some people say that the gloss on theirs is quite thin. Um, I think it's all right on mine. So that's interesting. There's his offside. It's an older mold, so it looks a little bit uh, funky. <laughs> but Briar did a good job of putting a modern paint job onto this vintage mold. So I'm very pleased. The masking on the tail isn't horrible. I honestly expected bad masking from Briar on his tail. That's just typical of Briar models. But uh, yeah, it's not the worst, actually. I, I'm quite happy. And my last special run is a very popular one this year. A lot of people wanted this guy. It's Oak. Out of all my special runs, he is in the worst condition. He's got a lot of marks on his white, a mm, couple of things I'm not very pleased about, but he is really, really cool. He looks better in person too. Look at that bum. But yeah, I like Oak. I was on the fence about whether to put him or Epona as my fourth uh, preference on my preference list. Um, I might end up buying an Epona in the future. But I am happy that I ended up with this guy because he's really, really cool. I don't know if you're going to be able to see any of his flaws on camera. But his white is dirty. Like, really dirty. Loads of shiny marks. Loads of discoloration. It's kind of gross. Uh, he also came with a bit of a hoof mess up. Um... And the colour on the offside of his face, it looks like there's some underspray because it's like a weird orangey colour, whereas it's supposed to be like a dark brown. I also have an issue with this mould's face because this right eye is really sunken in and the left, sorry, this eye is really sunken in and this eye isn't and that kind of annoys me. And his mane kind of looks like it's moulded into his head. So... Sculpture wise, it's not like my absolute favorite. I think it's overhyped a little bit, but he is gorgeous as like a shelf piece. And when you just see him stood, he is quite striking on your shelf. So I definitely like him. 
My last purchase from the Briar store on Sunday night was Era. Era is Irish for Ireland, if you didn't know. I've heard a lot of people say Eerie. Um, there are people out there who can pronounce it much better than me, and it is worth just YouTubing someone with a native Irish accent and a native speaker saying it, because um, they say it better than I do. But the general kind of, the general pronunciation is Era. Era, era. <laughs> His box is so cute that I've had to keep it. I don't normally keep many boxes. This is an exception because it's so small and so cute. I love it. It's tiny. The model himself is really cool. I've never seen this model in person. He's going to come up really dark on my camera, but you can actually see air bubbles in him if you hold him up to the light and he does look more transparent in real life on camera you can only really see that he's transparent through his legs i like how one of the ears is like sticking out a little bit it's very cute i'm excited to see what they do with this mold in the future and i'm glad that i picked this guy up those are all my official briar store and briar fest purchases but I did purchase some models second hand and one of them is actually a Briarfest model for this year. So I'm going to show you those now too. I've already shown this girl in like two videos already. But uh, this is Sprinkles. She's a Briarfest 2009 special run. If you guys didn't know, I've been obsessed with this girl for 10 entire years. Never owned her. Finally bought her this year and I love her. I have a whole unboxing video on my channel if you would like to see her in a little bit more detail. She's the coolest. She's so detailed. She's like live auction model quality in my opinion. Briar just don't make special runs like this anymore. Very happy I purchased this girl this year and she was so worth it. And I'm glad I got to spend my money on other models like her instead of like flights and travel insurance to Kentucky. Then this model came up for sale just after I bought my sprinkles and I was kind of going through a whole swishy tail lady phase obsession so I decided to purchase her as well. This is the ELRC benefit model from 2009 I believe. That kind of period between 2008 and 2010 anyway and she's glossy and she's a peach done she's beautiful i'm out of breath today guys because it's so hot but yes i like her she was decently priced and i bought her off someone i know from instagram which was all cool and she's actually bought a model off me too so <laughs> this is mon Gammon, if you are not aware of him he is an old retired regular run from about the 2010 period i can't exactly remember i love him so 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 much i used to own one of these guys sold it regretted it so tracked one down and repurchased it the shipping was a lot for this guy because i did purchase him from somebody in the us but his price was 40 us dollars and i could not turn that down i love him and he sits next to my reggie very nicely on my shelf and i'm just very very grateful to be able to own one of these guys again because they're just so stunning i can't believe this guy was a regular run i love him so yes very happy with him i also bought the best of british shire who does not want to stand on this glass cabinet for some reason he stands absolutely fine on my shelves so i'm not really sure what it is about this cabinet i have a few horses that won't stand on this cabinet maybe the glass is slightly warped i have no idea so i'm just gonna hold him but he's super duper cute i bought this guy when i was considering like what store specials i wanted to purchase from briarfest because i wanted to see this mold in person this guy was my first on this mold i now have four including glossy benelli he's probably the cutest thing i've ever seen i love him He's adorable and again for a regular run he's quite nice so i'm glad that i purchased him he definitely helped encourage me purchase benelli and i'm in love with benelli so i'm very happy about that 
Look at my three Shannondales together. Don't they look so cute? I am obsessed with the mold. I cannot wait for my glossy Benelli to arrive. I believe this is the last traditional that I purchased for my Briarfest celebrations. This is Copper. Funny story about how I ended up with Copper. I bought him off eBay on Sunday night of Briarfest, uh, a little bit after I had purchased Lu or Lou. And I thought, yeah, he could he could use a friend. I'll buy Copper. He was literally twenty pounds, so I was like, that's cool, inexpensive. He looks relatively good condition for his age. Anyway, it turns out that he was sent to the wrong person. Yeah, I freaked out. I got a message on a British collectors Briarfest group chat that I'm on, and uh, the girl was like, "Oh, I've just received a package today, and it was the wrong model." And I was like, oh, let's see, let's see the model you received. And it was my model. Turns out she'd bought a model from the same seller and she'd sent us each other's horses. So she had my horse and then I soon uh, after received her horse. So we then traded them back and I eventually got this guy. But he's cool. I can't remember how old he is. But I used to have an obsession with this mould when I was very first collecting, literally 10 years ago, in 2010. And it's funny that I've now ended up with two on my 10 year anniversary of collecting. He's cool. I really like this guy's face marking. And just like the big, the big nose bit. Boop! This teeny pony is a custom Darwin. This is by my friend Bambles Studio on Instagram. Love him. I'm trying to be really careful with him right now because it's so humid. I'm conscious that his finish might be a little bit sticky. But he is stunning. Resculpted mane and forelock. And he's just so cute. I love his colour. He's awesome. So check her work out because she's really talented. But like I say, I'm really careful about touching custom finished models in this humidity, so I'm just going to set him down now. And finally, the last purchase that I'm going to show you in this video is Aaron, the single day stable mate for this year. I regretted not purchasing this stable mate uh, in the four pack. Uh, I don't own the other three single day stable mates. But I was tempted to buy the full pack just so I could get him. I love this mould in traditional scale. So I needed it in stablemate scale. Tell me how cute that face is. It's so adorable. Love the lip. So beautiful. Love the ronin colour on this guy too. It's very, very cool. So that's it. That's my Briarfest haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. I certainly enjoyed making it despite the heat and humidity. Humid sweaty face right here for you. Let me know what models you got and which models are your favourites of the ones that I purchased this year. I know this is really cheesy and stereotypical for YouTubers to say but do give me a like on this video to let me know if you enjoyed this video and if you want to be part of my friendly model horse community that I like to try to create on this channel. Please do subscribe. I'm going to go get a glass of water now, so I will see you soon. Goodbye, guys.